The thing about a true love is that it becomes foundational to your being. I'll never forget how I felt when my father passed away. And although he had been 3,000 miles away from me for the better part of, I don't know, the last 10 years of my life, he really was never away from me because all that he had taught me and imbued in me and the energy that he put forth in the world was all part of me. And when he passed away, it was as though I had been set loose from my moorings. The foundation under me was, was unsteady and I had to somehow establish a firmer footing in a world where he no longer was there. And that's the way it is also with, with a romantic love. You don't have to be with that person physically. You're still with them. You're thinking about them all the time. When you see another person, what you see in that person reminds you of the person you love and if you don't hear from them you get scared and you wonder and when you do hear from them you feel joy and and then when you're standing next to somebody in the supermarket line, that person feels your joy and it becomes kind of a just a wonderful circle. I remember when I was growing up we had a climbing tree in the front yard and the wonderful thing about that climbing tree was that once you got up to the first set of branches there was a spot where five branches converged and as a kid you could just sit there and my sisters and my brother and I would climb up there and we would take comic books or a newspaper or some such and it became known in the family as the safety seat a place where in the arms of those branches you felt safe from all the world that's the feeling I had I remember when I was a kid maybe just four or five years old, my father used to pop popcorn in the fireplace. It was a big event in the family. And after he would pop the popcorn, you got to sit in his lap and eat the popcorn. That was the safety seat. The feeling that you got when you sat in the safety seat. Many years later, my father had been diagnosed with cancer and I came back to the old town to visit. My parents no longer lived in that house, but I went walking down the street. And when I got to the house, I paused as if to genuflect before this holy shrine 
but something was different. Something profound was different. The tree that had been in the front yard was gone. And the safety seat was gone. And my father was in the hospital in his dying days. The family had gathered, come in from all over the country, all five children, so we could spend time with him. His last 10 days or so, he was in a coma, but he could hear us. He knew we were, we were in the room with him. That's what true love is. It's that feeling of utter and complete safety in the presence of another human being. You know that that person loves you. There is no question. <clears throat> and that's from which the safety comes. That person doesn't have to know everything about you. They don't have to know the bad stuff. But you know you could tell them because that person loves you. And they would still love you. That's what true love is. It's not the swipe right and the swipe left. It's not the, I got laid last night. <clears throat> it's not scoring. It's just that quiet, comfortable feeling of safety in the presence of another, even when they're not present. And so when you feel you're close to that, just remember, wade into the water. Open up the dike. The love is there for the taking.